Time tunnel. New <laughs> Silly sound effects. Yeah, I know. We're going to skip it all, though. Right, little Penta there. You're going to see him in CTR later on. And I'll just warp in and, and face Ding and I was rough. It's probably worth heading to the right at this point. Wait, this isn't my boss guy. It's... Oh well, whatever. Ding was an easy boss. Um, actually, Pro's Twin Sanity version. It feels like an upgraded form of it. And um, I'll just hurry this up. Um, yeah. Actually, yeah. You, um, on the POL version, you can slide jump over those crystals and, and tack him straight off. I must forgot about that. And I'll do it again. Yep. Just. Um, yeah, that's that's easy, isn't it? <laughs> You don't even need to double jump. Um, which you get after that boss, ironically. Very useful ability. Very, very useful. Not for time trial, though. But useful. Like a back scratcher. Right. Um, third warp room time. Dr. Tropy's lair of fun. Uh, dynamite. Right. Haha, <laughs> get the pun. Explosion. Yeah. Right. No, you don't. I love um, Tropy's look in uh, Twin Sanity. Then again, I just love Twin Sanity. Um, real good upgrade. Um, I'm wondering if Radical ever bring him back and uh, ever redesign him. Uh... And if they do redesign him, what they'll bring to him, because I really love his Twin Sanity redesign. This is really awesome. Tiny, Tiny in um, what is it Crash of the Titans? Looks controversial. I kind of like his look, but I don't really like his personality very much. But then I guess it beats the monotone thing of Tiny smash this, Tiny smash that into mm, Tiny smash this, Tiny smash that. Mm. Yeah, I guess it's not really that much of an improvement, but whatever. It's interesting. They should have done it to Koala Kong, methinks. Okay, because he, he learned to improve his speech diction, as the epilogue of Crash 1 states. And he never really came back besides the um, Crash Bash and the, and the cameo in uh, Twin Sanity. Doesn't speak in really either of them anyway. <coughs> I digress, we're still on dynamite. You can actually get caught by one of these pterodactyls um, and taken to the level Oedipus Rex, which is a pun on Oedipus Complex, is it Oedipus? Yeah. Um, yeah, where you ride little baby T Rex throughout the level and it's fun. I had the world record time trial on that for a period until it was ruined. I went way off topic there, but who cares, because there is not much to talk about anymore. Deep Trouble um, has a colour gem on, which I'm not going to get. Spin. Shoot that TNT. Boost that submersible. Shoot that shark. Shoot. Just, just shoot bloody everything. I could go down at that point, um, speed through the fan, but I'm not going to because it's too much of a risk. And dying. And dying is not good for a speed run. Stupid sharks. If I met one of them in real life, I would so swim away <laughs> in fear. And then drown because I realize I can't actually swim. I left that life, I'm a fool. I'd rather have a bowl of cocoa pops. So yeah. <laughs> Underwater level of fun. And I somehow hit that checkpoint. I really, really shouldn't have. Uh let's just speed through this. Mm. I had a good record in this level as well, thinking about it back in the time. Mm. Yeah, 32 crates out of 
a lot. Uh, screw that one. Well, I'm truly up for a gem. Uh, I'm not going back to do any relics for obvious reasons because that would just hinder my time. Speaking of time, high time. Second Arabian level. Yeah, Tropy, you, you look weird. You really, really look weird. Tropy looks like a steampunk character. Have you no ever noticed that? You know, kind of clocks all over him, powered by steam, kind of robotic. British, even though I swear he should be Oriental. Um, if they brought him back, and if they want to do any kind of um, any kind of pop culture parody, which they seem to be doing it everywhere. I mean, Tiny's Mike Tyson at the moment. Um, Coco's pretty much herself, but you can draw some similarities to Jimmy Neutron. Cortex is is bloody Cortex. But no, you see my point. Uh, they could probably make him Doctor Who. I think parody of him. It makes sense. You know, Time Traveller? British? No. Yes, no. Okay, whatever. And I was almost hit by fire. See, that's a death route. In fact, I'm going to take that route. Dig a colour gem. And laugh at your face. Death routes are... Old oh, Skull and Crossbone routes are slightly harder versions of a level which appear if you don't die at all up to that point. Um... You run through them and you get a colour gem. Simple as, really. The purple gem would be on this level. Um, I'm not sure if this route or the other route would have been quicker. Uh, prob probably neither, actually. About the same length until the end. Actually, now I think about it, it's probably this one. It's longer. Slightly. No, oh, silly. Oh well. At least I've got colour gem. I can laugh. Ah ha ha ha. Ha. Wah. Wah. Okay, time for road crash. Not a road crash. Time for road crash. Um, there is actually a secret on this level. An alien head sign to the left, uh, which takes you to um, Hot Coco, which is a backward version of a secret level ski crazed. Without an arrow. Pretty much the purpose of that level is to um, get the gem, which is pretty annoying, but mm, whatever. And I'll point it out when it comes. Yes, yes. Hmm, yes. Which is there. Right. <coughs> I'm not crashing into it, obviously, because it would just hinder my time. And there's Dingo's Diner. Come to Dingo's Diner, where you can have excellent dingo food made from real dingoes like this dingo tail and this dingo face mmm dingo face right that was very odd and buy some soda as well mm. right um, there's some interesting signs on this level there's engines gas as well come to engines gas where you can have some dingo tail and some dingo face and gas Which is petrol, by the way, in England and Europe, really. Because gas is, is kind of slang for a type of aerosol abuse that kind of gets you high. Anyway, <coughs> aside oxygen and whatnot, anyway. Soda, Sheriff Cortex with Dingo Tail. And that's the finish, right, that's that level done. Crystal.